Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is another installment in my How Long Does It Take to Use Up Makeup series. Today we're going to be talking about the Cover Effects Custom Blot Drops, the Jouer Concealer, and the Bare Minerals Color Corrector. I tracked how long it took me to finish all three of these, and I wanted to talk to you about cost per use, cost per ounce, and to help you better determine if any of these would be a good value for you. I have 11 other videos like this on my channel. I will have the playlist linked in the description box. I talk about blushes, bronzers, foundations, face creams, other skincare products, lip balms, and I have a ton of products that I'm almost finished with that I have been tracking, so expect more videos like this to come in the future. I do want to point out that if you like my eye makeup today, this olive makeup tutorial, I will link the video where I show you how to get it in the description box. It was in collaboration with another YouTuber, Jordana Vargas. Anyway, let's get started. Like always, I'll have a little visual over here to show you the numbers. Let's start with the CoverFX Custom Blot Drops. This is $42 full price for one ounce, making it $42 per ounce. It's 30 milliliters, and that makes it $1.40 per milliliter. I think currently on the CoverFX website, this is on sale for $21, so it's half off, and I think CoverFX has these sales pretty often. I was able to get it for half off, so for me it's $21 per ounce and 70 cents per milliliter. This took me 76 uses to finish. That is 76 full dropperfuls of product, and that means it costs 55 cents per use, and if you get on sale, it's 28 cents per use. So if you were to use this every single day, it would last you roughly two and a half months. The way I would use this is I would take a full dropper full, put it in my hand, rub it together, and press it into my skin after moisturizer, like a primer. However, there are many ways you can use this. You can also use it to mix in with your foundation. I'm told you can use it to touch up with later on. I didn't do anything like that. I really didn't even think to use it any other way besides a primer until it was already finished. But to be honest with you, I don't think that this was a very good product. I don't think it did much for oil control. And even if it did work, even if I did like it, 28 cents per use is pretty steep. So for me, I do not think this product is a good value. If you do like this product and you enjoy using it, I would recommend number one, getting it when it's on sale for half off, but also trying to only use half a dropper instead of a full dropper. That'll double your amount of uses and last about five months of continuous use for you. But in general, this is not something I'm gonna be buying again. The next product I wanna talk about is the Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer. I'm in the shade Light One and this is SPF 20. This full price is $22 for 0 0.07 ounces, making it $314.29 per ounce or $11 per gram. I'm not sure if this is on the Sephora website anymore, but if you're able to get this for 20% off, either from the Bare Minerals website or the Ulta or Sephora website, uh, it's gonna be $17.60, and that'll bring it down to $251.43 per ounce, or $8.80 per gram. This took me 148 uses to finish, making it 15 cents per use full price, and on sale 12 cents per use. If you were to use this every single day and you wore makeup every day, this would last you roughly five months. I do think this is a nice color corrector. It's very creamy, but if you are in the market for a color corrector and you want something that's a little bit better value for your money and also, in my opinion, a better product, I would recommend trying the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. That one is a third of the price and it also has some more shade options. The Bare Minerals one only has two shade options, while the NYX one I think has four or five. So if you're in the market for a new color corrector, I would recommend checking out the NYX one over this, but I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with this. The next product I want to talk about is the Jouer Concealer. I do want to point out that in order to get everything out of it that I could, I did take the stopper out and use a special spatula tool to get everything out of the bottom. If you are not that type of person, if you don't like doing that to get everything out of the concealer, then you probably get maybe 10 or so fewer uses than I got. This full price is $22, it's 0.139 ounces, making it $158.27 per ounce, or $5.31 per milliliter. If you get it, once again, 20% off on the Jouer website, it'll cost you $134.53 per ounce, or $4.52 per milliliter. This took 104 uses to finish, making it 21 cents per use and 18 cents per use if you get it on sale. And so if you use makeup every day and you use this concealer, it'll last you roughly 3.5 months. Jouer has a fantastic shade range, both for their foundations and their concealers. So if you are someone who has trouble finding concealers that match your undertone, I do think Jouer is a good place to start. I know from personal experience that Jouer does have nice olive and golden undertones, 
for fair skin. So if that's what you're looking for, then Jouer has some options for you. This is a full coverage concealer. It can be a bit heavy if you put too much on, but I do think it's really nice and I do think it is a nice uh, level of coverage for my under eyes. I do not think that 18 cents per use is a very good value in my opinion, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the first concealers that I've ever tracked. And so hopefully I can track some more concealers in the future and give you a better idea of what value this provides compared to other concealers out there. I can speak for the shade range and the level of coverage. I think both are very nice. If you're looking for a very high coverage concealer that is thinner in consistency than this, I would recommend looking at the Cover FX one. I'm using the Powder Play right now and I really like it. Also, I can never remember if it's Power Play or Powder Play. At the end of the day, I did enjoy using this. This was a nice concealer, but there are tons of other concealers out there that I want to try, and I'm hoping to find something that is just a little less expensive per use. Those are all the products I had to talk about today. Sadly, none of them are ones that I think I would repurchase or that I think are a really great value for my money, but they are somewhat popular products and I did want to share my numbers anyway. Hopefully I can use up more primers and color correctors and concealers in the future and I can actually uh, compare same products from the same category. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.